Summary of the latest One Piece chapter offers intriguing information where Vegapunk will unveil the truth about the world's secrets to everyone. Additionally, the battle between Luffy and Saturn is intensifying. So, without further ado, let's get started. This chapter is titled, World Please Respond. The color spread on the cover features Nami, Robin, Hancock, Reiju, Uta, and Tashigi enjoying wine together while sitting on an elegant Chesterfield sofa accompanied by three Yorkshire Terriers. This color spread serves to promote the new One Piece heroine's novel, which contains short stories about these women. This chapter begins where the last one ended. Augur and Devon express their lack of trust in Caribou. Caribou admits to having valuable information, and he will spill everything if they take him to teach. Whether they agree to Caribou's request is still unknown in this chapter. The scene shifts to the Marines, where the names of the nine Vice Admirals are displayed on Egghead. There's Pomsky, Doberman, Dahl, Tosa, Urban, Bluegrass, Hound, Red King, and Guillotine. The Marines face a great challenge when fighting against the Pacifistas, which have a bubble shield that can block cannonballs. Doberman instructs all the Vice Admirals to prioritize hunting down Bonnie, as capturing her would give them high authority over the Pacifistas. Vice Admiral Toza pursues the Frankie group and prepares to attack them with a wrestling technique known as Tosagami, whose power is equivalent to 10 Shigans. However, Tosa's attack is thwarted by Dory and Brogi using standard attacks. Dory and Brogi depart from the Frankie group with some giant warriors to return to their ship. Bonnie informs them that Luffy, Sanji, and Vegapunk are still in the middle of the island, prompting Dory and Brogi to go there for assistance. Dory comments about Vegapunk, referring to the scholar who once mentioned his name. Here we see Vice Admiral Bluegrass riding the Sea Beast weapon with Dahl, and inquiring about her experience with giants, which Dahl recalls from 20 years ago under Saul's command. Other Straw Hat members like Zoro, Jinbei, Brook, or Usopp are not seen in this chapter. The focus shifts to Luffy's group, where Vegapunk informs Luffy and Sanji that they no longer need to protect or take him away from Egghead Island. Vegapunk reveals his determination to protect something on Egghead Island. Vegapunk also instructs Luffy to protect Bonnie. Vegapunk plans to reveal to Bonnie control over the pacifistas when she is older, but if everyone knows now, Bonnie will be hunted down. Saturn confronts Luffy again. He transforms into a new form, possibly his full zone form. Saturn's body becomes much larger and spider-like with terrifying eyes and tentacle-like whip legs. Luffy and Sanji dodge Saturn's attacks, and Sanji takes Vegapunk to safety. Kizaru suddenly intervenes, kicking Sanji and injuring Vegapunk with his light sword. Watching the scene, Luffy instructs Sanji to escape with Vegapunk and transforms into a giant, showing his seriousness. In the final double-page spread, Luffy simultaneously grabs Saturn's head with his left hand and Kizaru's body with his right hand, causing Kizaru to cough up blood while Luffy maintains his grip. Sanji and Vegapunk are now far from the fight, and we can see giant Luffy in the distance. Sanji is surprised to see Vegapunk smiling despite being injured. The scene shifts to the Punk Records lab, where Vegapunk's face appears on the screen, speaking to the world and hinting at the shocking truth about this world. 